Remember when they hated, didn't think we make it Now they break their neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hate yourself, you can't look at me, look at me What's good with y'all? Well, y'all can see I'm starting a day from the shop, and today I have some stuff that I need to finish up on the G. Well, so today I have some stuff I need to finish up on the G35 because I am gonna be taking that home, and we're gonna be wrapping that up. And I need to get the 350Z over to the shop on Thursday, so that's why I need the G35 done. That way I can mob it around. What are you doing? <laughs> why you keep jumping towards me? What's wrong with you? What you doing, yo? What you doing? What you got in your ear, fool? What you got in this ear, though? <laughs> You ready? Your car is gonna be all done. You can finally drive it. Uh-huh. No longer attempting to kill you now? No longer. You, you gonna open a shop thing or you or you got it? No? Yes? No? Come on. Man, you know what we haven't done in here yet? What? You ain't let me clap them cheeks yet in the shop. I'm pretty sure Aaron and Ashley ain't clap cheeks in the shop either. We might have to do that. <laughs> which which car you want to be on? Huh? Which car you want to be on top of? Should we smash on Aaron's car? Leave butt cheeks on there? Uh huh. His little carbon fiber hood. You gonna break it? You think so? Right, right. We might be able to get them cheeks clapped on here. You want to try it? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, push. All right, so what we here for? You guys remember in the last video, you seen that we did raise this up a little bit in the front. So it gives a little bit more clearance before I was in hello. Didn't want to let her drive the car like that. Not really my style. I prefer it to be a little bit lower, but she sucks at driving lower cars and I'm not trying to have her tear this up, so. That's gonna stay like that for a little bit. And then uh, I need to get these two, or I need to get these 305s off of here. So you guys see the 305s, yeah, they fit pretty well, but I don't wanna run this car on 305s. So I might be taking these off and swapping the 285s on here. This side's a little on the iffy side, it's kinda in. So I think that side would probably rub a little bit. We drove it around, it didn't rub, but like I said, I don't want this car on 305s. Way too expensive to be replacing tires when this car doesn't really need 305s. It'll probably hook just fine with the 285s on here. There is a tire shop right across the street from our shop, so I need to get these off, and then I'm gonna be rolling these over there and getting the other one swapped on, and then we'll commence with today, and I'm gonna adjust the ride height stuff. I wasn't waiting for Aaron. Aaron has had me so spoiled when it's coming to like doing stuff on here to where it's like, like I don't wanna do nothing, but I need to get out my lazy habits and just finish this car up myself. So I'll be just doing that, adjusting the height, and then um, figuring out whatever else comes up. If I find anything that needs to be fixed or replaced or dealt with while I'm here, I'll just get that done. So if you're seeing this, Aaron, I'm gonna give you a break and then I'm gonna just finish this thing up myself. So sorry if this vlog ends up being a little choppy. It's just, I'm trying to get this done ASAP. So I might not be able to get every single little bit and piece on there. All right, so adjustments made, and this is how it's sitting now. Cool part about having the 285s on here is I can take out some camber and get this thing like closer to zero. I'm not a big camber fan. So I went to start the car up, car didn't want to start up, and boy, 2012, Jesus Christ. So took the battery out of the 300ZX, threw it in here. Gotta go get a new battery for this thing, but for the time being, let's get this thing running. Just got done driving this thing around the parking lot. I'm also calling around right now to see if I can actually find like a muffler shop or somewhere because um, the flex pipe is ripped on here. Like this is probably the second set of flex pipes that I've ripped 
on the Y pipe. And since this has test pipes and the test pipes have um, flex pipes on them, I don't really need the flex pipes on the Y pipe also. So I'm trying to see if I can find a muffler shop. That way I can replace these flex sections with straight sections. And then my car won't sound like, like this. Like this car is usually super quiet. So having this exhaust leak, making it sound like a typical VQ is kind of just out for me. So hopefully I can find a muffler shop today. That way I can get that taken care of. And then if all goes well, you know, I'm gonna hit up Paradox to see where he's at and get this thing wrapped all one color. No more duct tape on this thing. Just finished mounting this up. All nice and sturdy. Bam. She's getting ready to cut and I'm probably about to be taking this thing over to Paradoxes to get it finished up. So yeah, we're going opposite directions. I got a long ass drive, I don't feel like going, but I need to finish this thing. What are you gonna do to it? Wrap the trunk in a wing. That way I ain't running around here with a red trunk and a green wing, looking hella stupid. <laughs> On the road, he's like, the fuck is that? All right. All right, love you. I'll love you lots. The last thing I'm about to do before I head out to Paradox to get this trunk wrapped is I'm about to replace this HID ballast because, hold on, let me just show y'all. Because right now I got the Fetty Wap going. Your boy only got one light. And there we go, back to 2020 vision. Just a quick little tip for some of my G35 people out there. So, take this, take it. check this out real quick. I just wanna show y'all some little tip for y'all. Usually these are held on by three bolts up here. One, two, three. But right here in this area, the frame gets in the way. So usually you'd have to take the whole headlight out, but what I did was you can see right there, I made some holes that way I can just put a screwdriver through and access that last bolt. I do not want to have to take the headlights out just to get to one bolt. So, you know, for all my G35 owners, you might want to do this if you ever have to replace your ballast. That way it just makes it quicker for you to get it in and out of there. So I'm pretty much done with the things that I need to do at the shop. So I'm about to lock up and then I'm gonna try to run to the exhaust shop that's down the street from here. He told me to give him a call at three cause he said it was kind of busy, but I'm gonna just pop up over there, see if he can do it. If not, then I'm gonna just head straight to Paradox and I'll deal with the exhaust situation later. But let's close up the shop and then get up out of here. It's a long drive to Paradoxes, man. <sighs> Well, damn, that sucks. I got ready to leave and leaving the driveway and tore the splitter up. I raised the car up for her not to mess it up and I tore it up. Damn. <laughs> so y'all already know where we at. Oh, what's happening here? What do you mean what's happening here? Yeah, this shit Nigga, you used to say infinity. <laughs> Duh. I didn't know they put a in it. Oh well, you do body work now. Alright, we'll, we'll bond over real quick. <laughs> Hella man, man. Knock my splitter completely off, yo. How? Leaving the driveway? At our shop? You gotta get one of those rubber ones. Took my shit out. Come on, rookie.
Yeah, the red is rap. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> At least it's in two pieces. So this will be the last time y'all see this red and green combo. All right, so this is where it's at now. Trunk all done, wing all done. And we decided to add the black at the bottom of the wing, just kind of break up the color a bit more, give us some more contrast, and needed something to kind of reflect off of the wheels and the diffuser. So decided to do that. Looks good. Look at it from back here, just looks black. Piano black. And last thing, just wrapping the roof black. This is the same black that's on the back of my vet. This is like the blackest black wrap I've ever seen, yo. And it stays black. Piano like, black. Look, look how black that is. You can see my reflection. Stupid yeah, black. It's so glossy that it's almost chrome. And this is the finished product of it. So roof wrap black. And we decided to wrap my carbon fiber wing because my carbon fiber wing was looking kind of kind of busted. So looks better this way. This thing was hella ashy. Looks cool. And we'll fix the front bumper. Oh yeah, for when I boof did this just <laughs> on the way here. So cool thing is uh easy splitters. I had hit them up on IG. And they said they're gonna be sending me a new splitter out. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Even though that splitter wasn't sponsored, I paid full price for it. They are gonna give me a replacement for the free 99. So shout out Easy uh, Splitters, thank you. And I appreciate y'all sending me out a new splitter because I didn't even get to enjoy that one. As soon as I came out the driveway of the shop, it was like, <coughs> then folded all under and stuff. It was looking, so yeah. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for uh, hooking it up with a replacement. But yeah, this is it for this thing. I got a long ass drive back home, about an hour and a half. So yeah, we're gonna be shaking the spot, but this thing looking clean, looking clean. get this exhaust fixed tomorrow like bad <laughs> yeah it looks good I didn't know how I was gonna feel about the black but y'all can't really see it but the, the black looks pretty good like this kind of complements the roof and everything and it kind of plays off pretty good with the uh, the carbon diffuser back there hmm <laughs> I've been going too crazy, these niggas too shady, speed limit 65, I'm about to do 80, fuck the niggas hating no. on, I've been on the come up, you can go to speak, but it's better if you run up, you can ride with a nigga, but I'ma give you a choice, if you really wanna holler, then I'ma give you a voice.